Hi everyone, and welcome back to another tutorial for our Adobe Spark series. Today I'm going to show you how to add icons and images to your designs. So again, you're going to go to the Add button, and you're going to choose Icon. So you can search for anything here. Just know that these icons, you can usually only have them be one color, so just keep that in mind. So I might search for education, and I have lots of options here. So let's say I want to do this graduation cap. I'm going to click and on it once, and then it will insert here. Just like with the text, you can click one of these white circles to resize it. And like I said, you can usually only change it to be one color. And you can change the color here. You can change the opacity. So again, if you'd like it to be lighter. So for instance, let's say I want to put this inside of a circle. I can choose, type in circle. Whoops. You want to go to add first. Type in circle. And I'm going to click that and resize it a little bit bigger. Now, when I want to put an icon on top of another one, but I put the graduation cap in first, uh, it's kind of like putting a piece of paper on top of another piece of paper. So we need to change the order. And the way that you do that is you click on your object and you have these four options here. You can either delete it, you can change the layer order, or you can duplicate it. So that's if you want to duplicate it. We're going to choose layer order, and then you can either send it to the front, which we don't have that option because it currently already is at the front. You can move it down once, or you can move it all the way to the bottom or the back. So I'm going to click that. Now you can see the circle is behind it, and this is here. Those blue lines helped me to find the center of the objects. I'm going to click and drag a box around both to select them and move them over here. Let's change this to a color we can see a little bit better. So right now the opacity is at 47%. So I can make it lighter or I can make it fully opaque, meaning it's at its full brightness. So that's how you add icons. Now there's a couple ways or different things you can do to add images. So for your background image, you can choose an image from your computer if you just click the background first and you can select something there. Or you can go to add photo. And again, you can upload a photo from your computer or you can find some free photos on the Adobe stock. So let's say I search for graduation and you get lots of different options. Some better than others. Maybe instead I'll look for school. And let's say I want to do this one. Here's my image, I can resize it. Now obviously it's a little bit bigger than my original image. Now I'm going to add it to the background. You can either add it to the background or we could again send it to the back. So I'm going to send it to back. And then if I'd like to, I can crop it or shape it, which means you could turn it into a shape like this and it will crop it or a star or a heart. But in this case, I'm going to do free form because I just want it to be about the size of my image, and I want most of this book to be in it. Or you can just choose square. And then I'm just going to press enter, scooch this over, and there you go. If I'd like to, I can also, again, just like the text and the icons, I can reduce the opacity, so maybe it's not as bright. You can also add filters if you click on this. You have a few options. You can add some enhancements, so if you'd like to change the contrast, 
This has made it a grayscale, meaning black and white. You can darken it, do different colors. So maybe I'll do that one. You can change the warmth of it, so you can make it warmer or you can make it cooler. So maybe because I have orange, I'll make it a little bit warmer. And you can also blur the image. So I could blur it. And you want to be careful because this will really blur it. You only, if you want to just blur it a tiny bit, you only have to do two or three to get the effect. That's how you add images. If you'd like to, you can also add templates in or grids. So I can delete all of this and go to background. And then you have all these different options to do grid layouts. So I'm going to go up to the top where we have a little bit less images. You have these, which are banners. I'm going to choose, say, one of these. So when I click on it, I have three different spots. You can resize them if you'd like to. And then on each one, you can click it and you can choose an image. And again, you can add other images inside here. And you could keep it a color if you'd like. So maybe on one of these, I'll have um, just an icon. And right now I just clicked and I dragged the image over so I had more of it showing. And on this one, maybe I'll change the color to this. And on this one, I will do something from here. And maybe add this. So that's how you add images. You can also change the border if you'd like there to be a thicker border. And you can also make it the background. So typically if you were designing something like a logo, you might not do photographic images, you would stick to just icons. So keep that in mind when you're designing some sort of logo that icons are your best bet. Most logos do not use photographs. And that's how you add icons and images.